Hello everyone. Lately I have been returning to the CS world after a fairly long hiatus. And uh, I was trying to create some nice uh, scenarios for myself to enjoy on the mission editor, but I have realized something. Some AI aircraft weren't doing much of anything with their guns against fairly light skinned uh, vehicles. I wanted to try it myself and well, surprise, surprise, I wasn't doing much of anything either. Uh, looks like, uh, well, the AI aircraft were hitting uh, the vehicles. I was hitting the vehicles, but the guns weren't doing uh, much of anything in terms of damage. So, looks like uh, there has been some damage model changes since uh, I have played. And I wanted to make this video to. Uh, well, basically, test things out and uh, see where it goes. So our uh, test subjects will be four different APCs, representing different levels of armor protection. The first one will be BTR-80. Uh, it has some nicely angled surfaces, but not really thickly armored. Uh, it's mainly meant to protect against rifle caliber uh, shots, as far as I know. So uh, that will be our baseline. Um, then we will we'll have a lighter one, MTLB, uh, MPB is a APC. And, uh, we have the German uh, transport concept boot. And uh, finally a BMP-1. So uh, in this first video I'm going to test the GSH-23L. Uh, the Grieser Shipuno 23. It's uh, a fairly popular gun for uh, Soviet-era aircraft. It's also used on a lot of uh, foreign aircraft, as well as uh, some uh, modern helicopter turrets. And yeah, it's uh, it's a lightweight and kind of popular gun. Uh, the reason I have chosen to uh, test first with this one is that uh, it's the gun on some of my favorite modules. And uh, it's fairly ubiquitous in uh, DCS modules. Um, MiG-21 and uh, JF-17, L-39 all uh, have it as their uh, internal fixed gun. And it's also uh, available as a gun pod for uh, MI-8 and K-50. And um, yeah, some of the upcoming uh, modules like MiG-23 will also feature this weapon. So yeah, let's let's see how it goes. First, I will have a go at um, the BTR-80 using the L-39. Uh, L-39 only has high explosive rounds loaded uh, in the gun, and uh, we have no choice of other belt options. So we're stuck with uh, high explosive rounds. Let's see if they work. So yeah, uh, even with a completely uh, shite scraping run, uh, I was able to do uh, quite considerable damage. Uh, BTR is just a little too squishy, I guess. And uh, excuse my scraping runs. Um, like I have said, I have been on a pretty long uh, day uh, from DCS. They will get better. And now let's have a go at the MTLV. Yep, no match either. Uh, although you can see that I got hit in the strafing run, um, the GSH-23 is a fairly short-ranged weapon when it comes to attacking ground targets. And uh, this may usually end up putting you in harm's way. Now let's uh, have a go at the Pooks. Hmm. Did I miss? Yeah, that's quite a few hits, I would say, but there's nothing in the uh, damage report, so 
uh, none of them penetrated, even though it was a quite square on uh, oblique uh, angle hit. And uh, the previous pass was on a BMP one, and as you have seen, uh, I didn't register any damage on uh, the BMP either, even though the strafing run looks pretty good. So let's have another go. And nothing again. Checking the damage report, and yeah, not, uh, we didn't register any hits. Looking at the replay, uh, we actually did have quite a few impacts, although uh, uh, they were somewhat sharply angled hits, but they were hits regardless, and uh, they didn't do any damage. So yeah, looks like we have only been able to uh, easily destroy uh, BTR and uh, MTLD with L39. Let's see what we can do uh, with uh, JF-70. Uh, the Jeff, as it's known in the community, uh, has the same gun uh, with a few more rounds, uh, but the gun is mounted uh, looking a few degrees downwards, which complicates uh, strafing a little bit. Uh, let's first start with the BTR again. Yep, very much dead. Next we'll try uh, the BMP, but uh, seeing as we also only have HE rounds in the JF-17, I suppose uh, we will not be able to do much to it. Let's see how it will, uh, how it will go. Nani? Okay, I say that uh, that worked. What's the difference then? Uh, we can penetrate the right side, but we can pen penetrate the left side. Is that it? I want to try a few times more and uh, see if I can penetrate uh, the left side of the BMP-1 as well. So here we go. Getting close, lining up. Bird, 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 bird. And nothing happens. Let's see if we have actually uh, hit him or not. Short, right on. So yeah, we did hit. Why did we not penetrate? Uh, that's that's where I uh, realized that penetration calculations in DCS is probably better than what I remembered them to be. Uh, you may have realized that uh, we have hit the BMP at a rather shallow angle, which makes uh, it uh, kind of difficult for the shells to penetrate the armor. We'll get back to trying uh, to attack the BMP from uh, this side later. But for now, let's uh, continue testing the JF-17 and try to attack the TPZ groups, which uh, so far has proved to be a top not to crack. So now uh, let's get back to trying to attack the BMP-1 with uh, L-39. So yeah, turns out we can actually damage it. Well, uh, usually anyway. So now actually Approaching from a much better angle, quite straight on, and yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
we can actually kill the BMP with uh, L39. We just need to be careful with our aim because uh, we only have high explosive shells. Now, next up we will look at the uh, MiG-21, but uh, MiG-21 has a few interesting points. Uh, first off, uh, it has its own uh, third-party implementation uh, 23mm shells, uh, both uh, AP and high explosive ones. And uh, you can actually choose between three different uh, belt mixes uh, when you place a MiG-21 on the mission editor. There's a general mix, which I assume to be uh, roughly 50-50. There is the air-to-air -air mix, which I assume is more high explosive heavy, but still has AP in it. And finally, you have the air-to-ground mix, uh, which uh, I guess more armor-piercing than high explosive. Uh, I was originally going to test all three uh, ammunition mixes uh, with the MiG-21, but uh, that proved to be mostly unnecessary uh, because uh, my first test went like uh, you'll see. And here we go, lining up nicely. I love the fixed net uh, as a aiming reference. Yep, that's a single pass. Three out of four dead. Same gun uh, as the previous aircraft, but uh, well, arguably, uh, MiG uh, is a more stable gun platform than most, uh, and also uh, this guy actually has AP shells. I still went ahead and uh, tested the more high explosive heavy uh, air uh, mix with the MiG 21 and. Uh, yeah, frankly, I was able to uh, destroy all four of the vehicles, uh, well, at least one by one. That's uh, mostly because uh, the MiG-21 actually has uh, AP shells, but I think also uh, the Leatherneck Simulations 23mm uh, HE implementation uh, performs a little better than uh, Eagle Dynamics own, which is more realistic. Uh, I don't really know. Um, I guess these are usually instant uh, fuse shells, uh, so they probably don't get much penetration and uh, blow up uh, on impact. But even with that, I think uh, some of the lighter skin vehicles should get damaged uh, more easily, uh, but yeah, that's just uh, conjecture on my part. Now let's see some uh, helicopters, uh, shall we? Uh, the Mi-8 has two gun pods, which is twice the deck up, but they are uh, not uh, in a central position uh, like in the uh, planes. So uh, since they are split apart to the sides, accuracy becomes a bit of a problem. Also, as you may have seen, uh, the gun pops on the helicopters uh, in DCS doesn't have uh, continuous fully automatic fire available. Instead, uh, they fire uh, on short bursts, but you can uh, tap uh, bursts in quick succession. And another thing you may have realized is that um, we were actually able to damage uh, both TPZ and the BMP quite easily. Uh, that's because uh, the gun pods actually have some uh, few AP shells uh, loaded between mostly HE. So now let's take a look at the uh, Ka-50, uh, which can carry four uh, gun pods and actually has a rather decent uh, aiming system uh, to use them with. Let's see what happens now. Slowly approaching the target area and lining up. Yeah, looking good so far.
yeah, that's uh, a lot of murder happened already on the first pass. And they are in the damage reports. Uh, I could see that some of the hits were AG, but uh, most of the damaging ones on uh, the TPZ and the MP were uh, actually from AP. Uh, so yeah, the decent aiming solution on the car 50 and uh, also uh, decent shells loaded, uh, unlike uh, JF-17 and L-39. And actually having four of the guns instead of one, uh, we were able to do uh, quite a lot of damage. Uh, I have circled around a little bit and uh, pretty much destroyed uh, everyone around the place uh, using the combo. This started uh, at first uh, as a bit of a ramp, but actually turned out uh, into the opposite. Uh, looks like we have some better penetration modeling now uh, in game, even against AI vehicles, which is welcome. But I think uh, this, this makes it necessary for module developers to uh, enable almost every aircraft module uh, the choice of different uh, ammunition belts for their guns because AP rounds are fairly necessary now uh, from what I can see. So there we have it. A uh, quick uh, look at strafing some uh, APCs with uh, GSH-23 which is a lightweight weapon suitable for lightweight aircraft and gun parts but uh, doesn't have a lot of muzzle velocity uh, and the shells aren't bullet great uh, for armor penetration uh, and uh, it's relatively short range. Uh, that's why it's actually a little better as an air to air weapon for uh, a light fighter. Uh, yeah, um, for following videos of this series, I'm intending to also uh, do it with the 20mm uh, NATO round 20 by 102 I think. Um, but if you have uh, any suggestions to uh, test it, uh, I mean try to prioritize. Uh, but yeah, 20mm uh, NATO round uh, should be actually mostly similar, out of some guns it has uh, quite higher muzzle velocity but uh, from others not so much and uh, it's uh, usually on the mediocre side when it comes to our penetration. Uh, we'll see how it performs but I think it will have it uh, easier than the 23mm. Uh, but regardless, uh, I think all the modules uh, will benefit from uh, the ability to choose different ammunition belt options uh, in the mission editor. Um, yeah, that's all for now and I'm uh, hoping to see you later.